Hello, everyone, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and today we're talking about Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's recent date night, Travis's upcoming appearances and his busy schedule, and whether or not we'll see Taylor and Travis at Coachella this weekend. Okay, let's get into it. But actually, before we do, if you haven't noticed already, we've made a bit of a change to our channel. We are now officially called A Swift Look. We've got a new thumbnail, a new everything. So again, if you are a Taylor fan, if you love her music, if you want to hear my opinions on everything Taylor Swift, especially with new music coming out very, very, very soon, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media. We really appreciate it. Okay, now let's get into the show. So if you missed it on social media, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey were caught by the paparazzi following their date night this Tuesday. We got one very grainy, well, I shouldn't say it was super, it was more of a um, hard to see Taylor and Travis photo from inside their car. I'll actually link in the description of, of this video, I will um, link to the photo in case you haven't seen it yet. You can go click there and see the picture, but it's basically, you can kind of, you can see Travis pretty clearly in the backseat of the car. And then you can kind of see like the side of Taylor's face in the car as well. Um, but they were caught leaving dinner at the Bird Street Club on Tuesday, April 9th. Now the Bird Street Club is a members only club in Los Angeles. And this is actually the same place. If you remember when Disney CEO, Bob Iger <laughs> fangirled over Taylor a few months I'm, maybe it was last month, it was at the Bird Street Club. That's where that interaction happened. And so this is seeming like a place that Taylor and Travis um, are enjoying. And they've, they've gone back to a handful of times, probably because it is a member only club. And typically at these types of restaurants and places, they do not allow pictures to be taken. It's very, very, very private and secretive. So they can exist without fear of somebody taking a photo, sending it, sharing it with paparazzi. Because if you do take a photo, you get kicked out of the place and you lose your membership as far as I know. So it's a it's a place for them to go. I mean, we saw what happened when they went to Nobu a couple weeks ago, right? Like fans take photos of them, paparazzi take photos of them, which I think that they're used to at this point. But it's, I, I wouldn't want to have to deal with that every single time I wanted to go out to eat with whoever. So for them to be able to go to a place where they can be private, I guess, except for leaving the establishment, um, I would definitely continue to go there as well. So spotted on their little date night. Uh, and you know, they've been spending a lot of time in Los Angeles recently. It is also interesting to me how little we've seen of Taylor in the last month or so. We've gotten a couple things here and there, but most of it has been like grainy paparazzi photos from their vacation. We did get the paparazzi stuff from Nobu a couple weeks ago, but for the most part, she has been really MIA, low key. There's been no shots of her like out to dinner with friends. I mean, we did see her at that birthday party last weekend, but again, like super low key, a fan took that photo. Um, and she's definitely been keeping more of a like low profile the last couple of, of weeks. And I wonder why. We kind of discussed this a while ago too, but like I wonder if she's just waiting for the album to come out because then she's gonna do some she like understands that if she shows her face too much, people are, are gonna be super tired of her. So if she kind of retreats for a a while and like kind of gets people out to stop thinking about her for a while. Then by the time she comes back into the public eye, they're like, oh, Taylor, you're back. Um, so I'll be curious to see if we see more of Taylor next week, especially because her album's coming out next week. And again, if she's going to do any sort of album promo, we we, we've we heard nothing in terms of um, interviews or appearances that she might be making. So I'll be very curious to see what goes on there. I'm hoping she does at least a couple of things because I would, I would like to hear her talk about the album. Um, and obviously, I don't think she's going to go into super detail about it, but I would like to hear some of her thoughts behind it and the making of the album and just get a little bit of insight because I, I think this album is going to turn a lot of people's lives upside down. It's going to be it's going to be a great one. And I want to hear more about it. So as I mentioned, they've been spending a lot of time in Los Angeles, both Taylor and Travis. 
Travis is officially filming. He is officially the host of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, which they've been filming in Los Angeles. Nothing has been, we actually haven't seen anything publicly said from Travis about it, but some fans have taken some photos of him hosting. It's pretty much confirmed that he has been hosting um, the, the show. And actually there was a, there was a report, I think last week in Dumois, which again, take with a grain of salt, that Taylor was spotted at the set of the show uh, supporting Travis, which love to see that. So he's busy doing that. And actually tonight is the New Heights live show in Cincinnati. They are going back to their alma mater to uh, do a do a fun live show with fans there. I believe their special guest is Joe Burrow and I think also Orlando Brown, who used to be Travis's teammate at the Chiefs and now he's with the Bengals. Um, but uh, so Travis is going to be having, you know, he's going to have to make the, the trek to Cincinnati at least for today, but who knows if he'll get back to LA on Friday. We'll have to see, but I'm sure we'll have stuff to discuss about Travis's live show on tomorrow's show. Um, I kind of doubt Taylor will be there, but you never know. Uh, and then the other thing I wanted to talk about or just throw out there as a question is whether or not we will see Taylor and Travis at Coachella this weekend. We obviously heard some reports last week, maybe the week before, that they were wanting to go to Coachella because Lana Del Rey is performing, Jack Antonoff, his band's going to be there. And so they had some good friends they wanted to go see perform. Now, obviously, Coachella is two weekends. The first weekend is this upcoming weekend, and then the second weekend is the following weekend. So will we see them at Coachella this weekend? Um, I kind of feel like, I don't know, I go back and forth. Part of me feels like this weekend makes sense, especially because next weekend will be Taylor Swift, the album release weekend. And so maybe she wants to be out and about that weekend instead, but also will she be busy doing like promo? Will she be traveling? Who knows? But Keep your eyes peeled on social media this weekend for Taylor and Travis at Coachella. Honestly, I said this a couple days ago that my favorite era of Taylor Swift was when she completely bleached her hair and went to Coachella. I think back in 2016, I just loved that era of Taylor Swift. And I know Coachella is seen very differently nowadays than it was back then, um, but I do want to see what she would wear to Coachella because I feel like the outfits are such a big part of the Coachella experience. And I would like to see what Taylor, what Taylor comes up with in this stage of her life and kind of where she is as a fashion, fashion girl. And also, um, with the, cause I feel like she also dresses in like the aesthetic of the album. And I would like to know what the torture poets department aesthetic is besides being gray, white, black all that kind of stuff. Anyway, that is that for today's show for the Taylor update of the day. Let me know in the comments all your thoughts to everything we talked about. Follow us on social media. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.